Yo, it's your boy Scooter Black, and I just jumped out the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Alright, so we got Scooter Black off the porch with us today. Yes, sir. How Burn, you feeling, South bro? Carolina. You yes. already know it. There yes, it sir. Is. Yeah, yes, man. sir. So I'm feeling good, man. Excited. Yeah. Yeah, excited. Nah, I appreciate you coming by, man. Go ahead and introduce who you got sitting behind you on the porch today, too. Yeah, man. These are my artists, but they're really my family, too. My cousins, you feel me? This is Moolah J. And that's Vard right there. Big Vard, Big Gooch. Okay. Yes, sir. Nah, that's what's up, man. Yes, sir. What else you got shaking here in Atlanta, man? See, really just trying to network as much as possible, man. Yeah. Trying to network as much as possible. I feel that. Yes, you come sir. out this way pretty often or not too much? Uh, way more often than I ever been. Yeah. Yeah, so like, I've been out a lot lately. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm actually just trying to network, you know? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, How do you sir. like the vibes here compared to back at home, man? It's way different, man, because it's, like, it's a major city out here, you feel me? I'm from the country. Yeah. So you, that's it enough right there, you feel me? That's self-explanatory shit. I got you, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, and you're from Burton. Yeah, Burton, South Boy, Carolina. Tell me about Burton, man, because I don't know anything about Burton, South Carolina. Man, shit. It's Beaufort County, I can tell you that. Shit, uh, and uh, too special, like, you know, every hood, ordinary shit go down, extraordinary shit go down too, but, you know what I'm saying? It's like every other hood, small country town, yeah. everybody know everybody. Um, I forgot what the population count was, but uh, the population count ain't too big either. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't too big. You guys got a Walmart or anything at least? Yeah, we, we got a Walmart, okay. but shit. So it's not too small then. That's about it though, you feel me? For real? That's about no it. No malls or nothing though? Nah, no mall, no mall. Shit, to hit the mall, we'll go to uh, Georgia, Savannah. Oh, for real? Yeah, okay. where that boy Quan Rondo from. Yeah. Yeah. How far is Savannah from you guys then? Shit. Yeah, about 45 to an hour, depending on how you driving. In road <laughs> conditions, you feel me? See me, I'm liable to get there in 30 minutes, you feel me? <laughs> you be on it, huh? <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm just fucking with you. All right, so talk about your childhood. What were you into as a kid growing up in Burton? Really sports, man. I knew it was just, I, I either wanted to pursue three things. It was sports, the military, or music. You feel me? And shit. Got to a certain point where sports wasn't, you know, the main focus no more. And... I didn't go straight to the military, you feel me? Like I said, I was going to, you feel me? So, shit, did the music, doing yeah. the music. I dig that. Yeah, I've been doing the music for a little minute too. Okay. Yeah. So when would you say you jumped off the porch? Realistically, I'd say about 13, 13. We was in middle school around the time. I used to skip getting on the bus and, you know, go roam the neighborhood, you feel me? Go walk home, my mama would be 38 hot with me. Shit, but shit, yeah, about 13. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. And you ended up going to college, right? Yeah, yeah, I went to college. Where'd you go to college at? Uh, Lively Technical College in Tallahassee. Okay. In Florida. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty straight school. You just gotta stay focused when you going through that, though. Like, yeah. you go to school there, you just gotta stay focused, man. Why you say that? Shit, all right, cause like, I went to school for barbering, you feel me? It wasn't like no degree or nothing like that, but mm -hmm. People think barbering, okay, that's simple. That shit ain't simple. Like, you got the haircutting part, you feel me? Yeah. But you got the book you the book part, too, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, it's a lot. It's a lot. You got different tests, all type of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all type of shit. So what you think of Tallahassee when you got out there, man? Man, like I said, it's a city, you feel me? So, shit, it was on and popping. I know it ain't South Florida or nothing like that, but shit, I really just be chilling, you feel me? Staying out the mix. I pop out. You know what I'm saying? I got face and shit, but I don't be doing too much, you feel me? Just working. Yeah. Yeah, really just working, man, working. Trying to expand the brand. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel that. Yes, yeah, sir. So you cutting hair right now, or? Yeah, cutting okay. hair right now. Yeah. And my main focus, you feel me? I, I be working too, you feel me? I be state to state on the road working. Yeah. Doing little courier services and shit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you feel me? So shit. Well, you would just be hustling then, huh? I be trying, man. I, I be trying to do something, you feel me? Trying to do something, shit. Uh, I do it all, man. Uber Eats, Postmates, Instacart, the cutting hair thing, the music. I draw, you feel me? All type okay. of shit, man. All type of shit. Nah, I respect that, man. Yes, sir. You gonna get it out the mud I'm one way or the other. You. It's gonna pop one way or another. Yes, one way sir. or another, it's gonna pop. We're yeah. gonna make it pop. So how do you find a balance to, you know, include the music into that as well? 
man, I done been at the lowest lows in my life, you feel me? So I know where I don't want to go back to. And that keep me sane, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I done been through a lot. I know it's people, people go through shit. A lot of people done been through a lot, but I'm one of those people, you feel me? So that's how I balance it all. Yeah. I know where I don't want to be. Yes, yeah, sir. just use that as your motivation, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Most definitely. So what would you say was one of the biggest life lessons you've learned in your life so far? Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your friend. It could be your family and all. They ain't really your friend, you feel me? They ain't your family for real. Like, it done got that deep, that cutthroat for real, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. So you just got to keep your eye open, really. Uh, stay focused. Stay focused. Like, whatever you're trying to do, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Stay humble. Don't never get too cocky, you feel me? Stay humble and shit. Just really stay out of the way. Mm -hmm. That's what I could say, stay out of the way. Like I said, everybody ain't for you. Yes, sir. Good game right there, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, so you mentioned doing music for a while, man. What motivated you or inspired you at first to give it a try? My two older cousins, bro. I got two older cousins, you feel me? PB Trails and PB Poppy. They, uh, they're from where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? From around the way, so shit. They way older than me. They got me like about five years. I'm 21. They going on about 26, you feel me? Going on 30, you feel me? So growing up around them, hearing them rap in the booth, seeing how they could, you know, write something down, come up with something off the head quick. I was like, shit, I can do it too. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, and shit. It's been up ever since that. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Who'd you grow up listening to? Who were some of your favorites? When I was young, I said I had listened to old school music, you feel me? Like, whatever my peoples were playing, you feel me? That's what I was listening to, you feel me? Then once I got older and, like, start tapping in, you feel me? Uh, you know, the people who were trending at the time, uh, you could start off and say Soldier Boy. Okay. Then it went to uh, artists like, I say, Chief Keef. I don't know how big that gap is, but the Chief Keef, uh, you know, Walker Flocka Gucci at one point, the whole Brick Squad. Uh, who else? Nipsey, uh, J. Cole, I'm listening to some Kendrick, Future. Yeah, like with Wiz Khalifa for real. Okay, with Wiz yeah. Khalifa too. That's what was in that gap, Wiz Khalifa. Uh, who else? Who else? Rich Homie Kwan. Okay. I feel like he don't get enough credit. No, nah, that's for real, man. Yeah, Rich he Homie He started Kwan. a lot of trends that are popping right now. I'm trying to tell you. I'm it's like people forgot you. about him, man. I don't, I don't know what bro got going on, man. I know he be working, you feel me? I know he be humble, you feel me? So yeah. that's like somebody I kind of look up to, you feel me? And Nip before he passed away, you feel me? Like, yeah. you know? I dig that. Yes, sir. So how long have you been taking a serious, you know, start investing into your craft and, you know? I'd say, man, about maybe five, six years now. Okay. Cause it's pushing 2022. I've been going hard since like 2015, 2016 type shit. You yeah. feel me? So for a little minute, okay. a little minute, like really investing. I'm talking about bad quality studio. Is I'm using the laptop. You feel me? I'm using the computer. As long as I can hear myself on the beat, I'ma just listen to it and listen to it and know what I can critique and get better. Mm -hmm. That's what that was on. I feel that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how'd you get the name Scooter? <sighs> My uh, grandma on my father's side, she had gave me that nickname, but uh, like I only met her one time. They say I met her, you know, more times than that. But as far as I can remember, I met her one time when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and shit. The next time I seen her, it was at her funeral. You feel me? Sure. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna just keep the name. You feel me? Like I ain't had no other nickname at the time. I had a name like Aunt. You feel me? But shit. I ain't no aunt, you feel me? Like, so <laughs> that name ain't stick. So I just like, I'm gonna just carry the school name, you know, carry the legacy. Okay. Yes, sir. I think that. Yes, sir. So what's the message that you put into your music? <sighs> really, man, it be motivational music, you feel me? Like everything ain't about killing a nigga or killing somebody, shooting somebody and all that, you feel me? Like, Basically, I feel like if I could do it, you could do it too, you feel me? Like, I came from nothing, you feel me? I done was homeless, been to jail, was out here in the street, sold drugs, all that, you feel me? And shit, I went to college, and I cut hair now, you feel me? So now I'm trapping legally, you feel me? And doing music. So I just be trying to put the message out like, whatever you're trying to do, really just do it. 
you feel me? And I incorporate a lot of what I went through into the music so people can get like a feel for it. If you relate, you relate. If you vibe with it, you vibe with it, you know what I'm saying? If you approve of the message, all that, you will tap in with the music. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I don't just make no bullshit music, man. I make good music. Yeah. Yes, sir. I feel that, man. Yes, sir. Guaranteed. Yeah. All right, so is it much of a music scene in Burton, man? What's going on out there? When I was in the city, you feel me? It wasn't too major, you feel me? But shit, everybody rapping now. Everybody want to be a rapper. Not too many people want to be an artist. You feel me? Everybody want to be a rapper, though. Talk about the difference between a rapper and an artist. Oh, shit. You know, a rapper, shit, you just rap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you just go in the stool. Oh, shit, I want to hit the stool, man. I want to rap, you feel me? I want to make a song. You know, that's how them rappers be, you feel me? But, shit, you an artist. You put music out for the audience. Like, you enjoy doing the music, too, you feel me? Like, you get a feel for the music. You put your passion into it, and it's for an audience. Like, like I said, like... The people who gonna tap in with it gonna tap in with it, you feel me? Like you, you would be surprised what your music could do and how it can affect somebody. For real. Yeah. For real. That would make a, the you know the difference from the artist and the rapper. Now that's true right there, man. All right, so you know, South Carolina's had a nice little run these last couple years, man. Miss in it, man. Why do you feel like it took so long for that spotlight to get on you guys? Because there's been talent coming out the state for a while. But I, it's just I, like now you guys are getting some, some notice in the game. I feel like we different. I feel like that's the true answer. Like, we different. Like, maybe at the time they wasn't rocking with South Carolina like how they should have been. You feel me? And so many people got looked over. So many people that's underrated, you feel me? But so much people have been going so hard lately, like the spotlight on us. Mm -hmm. And they're not even just South Carolina, it's the Carolinas, you feel me? North Carolina too. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. like, art has been really going hard, you know what I'm saying? So Carolina stand up. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a lot of unity in the state amongst the other artists, or is it more? I've been seeing some shit. I ain't gonna, you know, put people business out there or nothing like that, but i say somewhat. Somewhat. It's some unity. Everybody don't rock with everybody, but some people rock with some people, if that makes sense. Yeah. You feel me? I dig that. All right, so what can you tell us about this new single, Ego, with Sean Skrilla, man? That shit fire. I fought with the song. It's really kind of old, but shit, uh, I've been waiting so long to get it, like, mastered, get it sounding how I needed it to sound. You feel me? The quality of the song. I went through, like, a few different studios, a few different engineers, you feel me? And then bro had to do his verse with somebody else, you feel me? So I just had to wait till the time was right to really drop the song and the quality was to my standards, you feel me? Like, cause I don't wanna just put out no bad, no bullshit, you feel me? If people yeah. gonna listen, they either gonna listen and fuck with it or listen and don't wanna hear it no more, you feel me? But shit, we, we probably be shooting the video soon. Okay. Yeah, we probably be shooting the video soon, I can say that. We don't got no date right now, but sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah, sometime soon. I got a lot of stuff in the works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why'd you, or how did you link up with Sean for that? When did you just reach out to him or? Shit. I'd say about 2017, maybe. 2018, I uh, had shot a video. And after I got done shooting the video, my the video man at the time, you feel me? He was like, bro, you ever heard of Sean Skrilla? I'm like, nah. He like, shit, you from South Carolina too? I'm like, shit, where from? Bro, like Rock Hill, you feel me? I had heard about it at the time because I used to play AAU basketball, you feel me? So we traveled a lot, you feel me? So I had heard about Rock Hill and shit. I had never heard no rappers from there, you feel me? So shit, I, uh, bro, played the song. I think he played that all that cap and shit. From, from the jump, I was fucking with bro music. Like, that nigga fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that nigga fire. Yeah, you got some heat, man. Yeah, and what can you tell us about the previous single that you had? Who knew? I just dropped the video for it yesterday. That be good. Oh, did you? Okay. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. Like I seen the numbers for the first day. It ain't much to a lot of artists, but for me to, you know, have not dropped no material out as far as music videos in two years, shit, that shit going crazy right now. Yeah. I, I fought with the song. You feel me? I feel like uh, I could have this a little few things different, but for the most part, a lot of people rocking with it. You know what I'm saying? That's probably just me critiquing myself. Yeah. Yeah. So why did you take that hiatus? You just said two years between your last music video? School, man. Yeah. I had to focus on school. School wasn't easy to get through, you feel me? That's really what that was. You know, you got to focus on some shit. You got to 
cut everything out and focus, you feel me? So that's what I had to do. Yeah, yeah. I think that. So are you working on a new project, like the EP or a tape, or are you kind of just focusing on singles and videos at the moment? I'm dropping, I'm, I'm, I ain't recording singles right now, but I'm dropping them. I got a lot of unreleased music, you feel me? I just waiting for people to turn their head and really tap in like how I need them to tap in for real. I ain't gonna say need, but how I want them to tap in for real, you feel yeah. me? Mm -hmm. I got like, I'll say about three more singles I'm gonna drop. Everything dropping with videos. Okay. Even if they don't drop at the same time, drop his videos coming with the song. So, yeah. The material is there, for sure. Okay. For sure. What's the next one you plan to drop? Next single. I got a feature with uh, an artist named Broke Boy Bull. I really think he changed the name to Dirt Ball Bull now, but I got a feature with him. We got a song called Today. Five. Shit five. Shit five. Yeah. You will like, I think you will like that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. He from South Carolina or where he from? Nah, he from Florida. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. All right, so Boss Man Enterprise, man. This is your label, right? Yes, sir. All right, so how long have you had the label and what's some of your goals with the label? <sighs> to be real with you, um, I don't know what year it was. I was in fifth grade, so I'll say maybe 2011, 2010, something like, like around that time. I just was, like I said, I was always drawing. And I done had drew a logo one day and it, it came out to be BME. So I'm like, damn, it's hard. I might well just take this and run with it. And it was originally Businessman Enterprise. Okay. That what it originally was. But uh, 2018, I established it. I was like, fuck it, this is gonna be Boss Man Enterprise. Yeah. Businessman Enterprise, too long, you feel me? It's too long of a word, you feel <laughs> me? So uh, I just put Boss Man Enterprise. Okay. Yes, sir. So like I said, what's some of your goals with the label? Where are you trying to take this? We see you got two artists behind you, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. They, they fire too, man. They fire. Everybody's just working right now. But uh, you already know great music can guarantee great music, you feel me, for everybody. It's not just for no one audience, for everybody, you feel me? Uh, we got merch coming, you feel me, working on merchandise. Got to okay. have the merch. Uh, what else? We were just doing all type of networking, man. Like I said, the courier services, you feel me? Like, got that certified. It, it boss man enterprise on that stamp. Oh, for real? Yeah, for well, real. That's hard, right? You there. feel me? So, so you branching now more than yeah, just music for this. Most definitely more than just music, man. Even with the barbering tip, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, even with the barbering tip, yeah. for sure. Nah, I salute you for that, man. For sure. Um, and as being an independent artist, man, talk about the grind that comes with that, man. That shit ain't easy as people think. Like when I first started rapping, I was putting out an ass of music, but I ain't had no nothing like about beat leases and copyrights and you know what I'm saying, distribution and all that, publishing and all that, you feel me? I ain't had no nothing about that. So I was just dropping on platforms like Spinrella and my mixtapes and Audio Mac and stuff like that, you feel me? Thinking I'm gonna blow off talent and I wasn't really blowing off no talent. Like I was going dumb, but I wasn't blowing off no talent, you feel me? So then that's when I learned you gotta really put a budget behind it. Like, even if you don't got a lot, you gotta at least have something, some type of budget. Like, it's gonna be somebody willing to work with you, you feel me? But shit, that's all on you if you gonna stay down, you yeah. feel me, and get through that. It's gonna be hard times, it ain't easy, you feel me? But shit, that would separate, you know, the strong from the weak, you know what I'm saying? And that ain't even physical, that's, that's mentally, you feel me? So, yeah, like, a artists will fuck around and, go broke off Danny trying to push his music. Oh, yeah. You feel me? I done did it a few times. Yeah. So that just said enough right there, you feel me? Real shit. Yes, sir. What else you working on, Scooter? What else is coming up for you for the rest of the year? <sighs> more visuals. I'm trying to hit the blogs a lot more. That's why I appreciate you for, you know what I'm saying, the opportunity or whatnot. I got to hit the blogs more, you feel me? Uh, getting the people face, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Get seen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else, what else, what else? Gotta have them visuals. I got them visuals coming. Uh, working on the project, I don't got no name for it, no cover art, no nothing, but the material is there. I got the songs, I just gotta get back to the drum board, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come up with something. Uh, like I said, man, we got this, this barbershop in Tallahassee, uh, Truth Cuts. Okay. Yeah, excuse me, yeah, Truth Cuts, you know what I'm saying? Come out there, show love, come get a haircut, you know what I'm saying? Barbers who gonna work with you. Affordable pricing, you know what I'm saying? Going dumb on the haircuts. Uh, and like I said, merch too, man. 
merch too. Probably gonna get some more interviews and try to get some more interviews. And you know, everything, man. Everything, you know, just the network mm -hmm. and promote and market it the right way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Absolutely, yeah. That's all. All right, you wanna give any shout outs before we wrap it up, Scooter? And shout out to everybody who rocking with me. Straight like that. Shout out to my dogs behind me and everybody who rocking with me. You feel me? Everybody who really going through it. You feel me?